Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I upcycle a silver tea set that I recently painted. Here I have a tarnished silver tea pot that I'll be doing my tutorial with. Now, first of all, I'm going to clean it with Dixie Bell's White Lightning and wow, I soaked it in the White Lightning and about took off all the tarnish and brought back the silver. Which is awesome because now I'm going to use the silver as an accent and use blue tape to tape off the areas that I don't want to get paint on, which is essentially the lid, the handle, and the spout. Now that I have everything taped off, I'm going to use Dixie Belle's Slick Stick, which is an adhesion primer, to prime the areas that I'm going to be applying paint. Dixie Belle's Slick Stick is great for anything that you might have a slick or glossy surface, such as this silver teapot, um, laminate, metal, glass. Um, it works really well if you need a primer for your small projects or even your furniture. I used it on a laminate uh, tabletop and you wouldn't even know that it was laminate after I painted it. So I'm going to apply my first coat. I'm just using an artist brush to get into the little areas and I'm going to apply one coat, wait two to three hours, and then apply the second coat and wait overnight before I even start painting. After my slick stick has dried overnight, I kind of go around it and uh, make sure there isn't any you know, raised areas. It's pretty smooth, which is going to be great for my paint. I'm going to be using Redesign with Prima's MIDI Decor Transfers Vintage Labels 1. In this package, you get three sheets of labels, and I believe there's 18 plus projects you could get out of this package. I've already started using them. You can find these transfers and all of the other supplies that I use in this project on my website. The next step is to apply the paint. I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's Savannah Mist. It's a dusty blue-gray color, but I want to lighten it up because the labels I'm using are a blue, and uh, I want to make sure the labels pop. So I'm going to... Just get a couple teaspoons of the blue, and then I'm going to add a little bit of fluff, which is white, and give it a good mix to lighten that color. To apply the paint, I use a craft brush that I usually could find at Walmart but they're getting harder to find. I don't know if they're just not restocking fast enough or what, but I can put an Amazon link in my description. These are great brushes. You get two in a package, and they're wonderful for those small projects. So I'm gonna to continue to paint my teapot all the way around. I'll apply the first coat, wait for that to dry, then I'll apply a second coat before applying any transfers. I've got my second coat of paint applied. I'm going to remove the blue tape and speed up the drying process by using a hair dryer. I'm 
Now I can apply the transfer. I'm going to use two rolled up dish towels for placement just so my teapot's secure and not rolling around. I'm cutting out the label that I chose for my teapot. Since I'm going to be dealing with a curve, I'm going to cut the label further, basically in half, so it's easier for me to apply. Here I'm sizing things up, making sure my transfer is gonna be centered. I'm going to use blue tape to secure it, and then I'm gonna use a pencil to make a little mark where the transfer is on the left to right, just so when I remove the backing sheet, I'll know where to lay the transfer. I'm now going to apply the transfer. It's in two parts. I'm removing the backing sheet and the transfer I have in my hand sticky. So wherever you place it, you're pretty much committed. I make those pencil marks from left to right, which really helps me to line it up when I'm laying it down. I'm using blue tape to secure the transfer to the teapot. Next, I'm going to apply the transfer with the transfer stick that came in the package. I'm going to apply good pressure all the way across. And I'm going to use the backing sheet from the piece that I just took off and lay it across the top because the cut line is so close to the paint. I don't want to scratch my paint. And I'll continue to do this until I think it's good and applied. And then I'll start slowly lifting the sheet from the transfer. You don't want to rip it off like a Band-Aid because anything that isn't adhered is obviously not going to stick and it's going to reflect on your design. So here I am slowly pulling back and if I see that something is lifting, I'll continue to use the transfer tool, rubbing and applying more pressure to ensure that the transfer is applied. And next I'm using the clear sheet that I removed from the transfer and I'm burnishing my image, making sure there's no bubbles and everything is adhered properly. The next step is applying the second half of the transfer and I usually uh, overlap just a little bit. If I have a cut piece, I'm going to overlap just a little bit just to hide that line. So here I am again, I'm using the transfer tool that came in the package to rub the image onto the teapot. For the last and final step, I just need to seal my project and I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's clear coat in satin. I'll apply two coats to my project and it will be finished. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. For all of the supplies used from White Lightning, Slick Stick, Paint, and Top Coat, you can shop my website at www.thechalktrunk.com. Thanks for watching.